In this video, I want to show you how you pull data in from SQL Server into Microsoft Excel. So you can do this on uh, an existing workbook or on a blank workbook. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to come up here. I'm picking the data menu up top, data, and then I'll pick on get data on the left. Okay. Now you, you can actually use many different data types. If I pick on a from file, I can get data from an Excel workbook, a text file, PDF is there, SharePoint. If I pick on a from database, I see lots of other databases, including SQL Server. So I'll pick on SQL Server databases this time. On this window, it's looking for the server name and maybe even the database name. You will get that from your IT team unless you know how to do it yourself. So I'm going to go to a different window here. I'm going to switch to my actual SQL Server that I have on this computer. All right, so I'm going to go over to the SQL Server window here. All right, then I'll pick on the word connect and then the database engine. And then here I have the server name. So I'm going to copy that from this window and I'll paste it into the Excel window. So I know how to do that. Maybe if you don't know how to do that, you would get that server name from your IT team and maybe the database name as well. If I pick words as advanced options, then there's other things your IT team can help you with as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. It's now trying to connect to that server. These are the databases on that server. So again, your IT team will tell you which databases are relevant for your needs. So I'm going to pick on this database and I'll pick on this table and I'll pick on load. And now that table is going to come right into Excel. Notice how it comes in as a formatted table. So then you can actually treat it like any other formatted table and make reports and charts from there and those kind of things. Now, what's interesting is that it's actually linked to the SQL Server database at this time. So I'm actually going to go into the SQL Server for a second and make a change there. So I'll pick on connect and actually connect to the database this time. I want to show you that if I make a change here in the SQL Server that the Excel spreadsheet can refresh as well. So it was going to be in this database in the SQL Server, and I put that into the categories table. There it is. So I'm going to right click. Uh, I'm going to right click on the categories table here in SQL Server, and I'll edit the top 200 rows. And I'm just going to make a quick change on this table. So let's say for dairy products, uh, right now it says cheeses. I'll say cheeses and other uh, dairy, just just to make a change here, okay? And I'm going to go ahead and uh, if I go to a different record, that record has been saved. I'm going to close that window. All right. Now let's go back into Excel. So I have to tell this to refresh. A couple ways I can do that. If I pick in the data menu up above, data, then I can pick in the word refresh all. Then I can pick in the word refresh there. And then notice how it'll have the newest change to that, to that table. Okay. So you could do a manual refresh like that. Let me show you how you can do an automatic refresh. Again, I'll pick in the data menu and then refresh all and I'll pick on connection properties. Then you get this window here. I can say refresh every so many minutes and you can change the number of minutes or refresh the data when opening up the file. So those are more of an automatic refresh. All right, so you pick on the data menu and you pick on refresh all. These two are gonna be manual refreshes, but if I pick on connection properties, then I get this window where I can say refresh every so many minutes and you can change the number of minutes or refresh the data when opening up the file. So really, we started off with the data menu and we said get data and then from database and then SQL Server database. And then if you know how to get the server name, you put that in there. Otherwise, you would get that from your IT team. And then it could really not only import data from the SQL Server, but also link to the SQL Server as we saw.